31 race victories, 112 podium finishes, and became the 28th member of an elite racing club called MotoGP Legends, yet not a single championship to his name. Known as Little Samurai of MotoGP, Danny Pedrosa carved his legacy not with brute force, but with precision, consistency, and unwavering determination. His journey, one marked by breathtaking victories and agonizingly close misses, is a testament to the enduring spirit of a champion. Born in Sabadell, Spain, Danny received his first motorcycle, an Italjet 50 with training wheels, at the tender age of four. This sparked his love for riding. His father, who also enjoyed motorcycles, recognized Danny's talent and encouraged his pursuit. At the age of five, Danny received a motocross outfit as a gift for Christmas, igniting his dream of becoming a professional rider. He started participating in local competitions and quickly rose through the ranks, showing exceptional talent and dedication. His book, Two Mechanical Elves for Danny Pedrosa, details this period, portraying it as a magical journey driven by excitement and fueled by family support. By nine, Danny was already conquering the Spanish Minibike Championship and ended his debut season in second place, scoring his first podium finish in the second race of the season. Danny's unrelenting love for racing led him to the 125cc Premier World Championship at the age of 16. Nicknamed El Pequeño, the little one, Danny became the youngest ever rider to enter the 125cc class of MotoGP. Danny's success in the 125cc class paved his way to the 250cc class in 2003, and his consistent presence at the podium became a familiar sight to the MotoGP fans. He clinched two consecutive 250cc World Championships in 2004 and 2005, rewriting record books and etching his name amongst the greats. But the true test awaited in the pinnacle of two-wheel racing, the MotoGP, where Danny encountered a certain individual named Valentino Rossi, who at that time considered to be invincible. Danny was going up against a literal Godzilla of racing talent. But he wasn't alone. Along with Danny, riders like Casey Stoner, Jorge Lorenzo, Mark Marquez also joined MotoGP. They were collectively known as aliens, the term given to a group that seemed a class apart from their rivals. The road to glory was tough for Danny. Not only he had to go up against the greatest rider of MotoGP, but also he had to fend off his other highly talented counterparts. Unfortunately for Danny, while the rest of that pack got to have their big moments, his moment never quite arrived. But Danny never backed down though. Danny Pedrosa carved his own legacy with metronomic precision on the track. His riding was in stark contrast to Rossi's flamboyant aggression. And it is a fact that Danny played a huge role in chipping away Valentino Rossi's aura of invincibility. As Rossi's supremacy started to fade, new rivals from the squad, Casey Stoner, Jorge Lorenzo, and the unstoppable force of nature, Marc Marquez, started to leave their mark on the sport. But even with the absence of a championship trophy, Danny stood out from all of them with his smoothness and precision. Pedrosa prioritized smooth inputs and precise control over the motorcycle. He was known for his minimal body movement and ability to carry corner speed with minimal drama. This smooth style resulted in consistent lap times and reduced tire wear, making him a master of race management. Throughout his career, we got to witness this smooth, no-nonsense riding style of Danny leading him to the top of the podium. One such race was the 2012 Valencian Community Grand Prix. When Pedrosa locked horns with Stoner in an epic tussle, the Australian's raw power countered by Danny's calculated finesse. This race can be considered as a masterclass in racecraft. Starting at the pole position, Danny was in constant fight with the Australian talent. The stark contrast between Danny's smooth lines and Stoner's aggressive swoops was visible throughout the race. They dueled for the lead in the final laps. Danny capitalizing on Stoner's mistake at the final corner for a dramatic 
last gasp victory. While a championship victory often brushed past him, Danny's achievements in MotoGP are undeniable. He amassed 31 Grand Prix wins, 112 podiums, and three runner-up positions in the championship. His mastery of wet weather conditions was unmatched, earning him the sobriquet, the Rainmaster. Yet, the coveted MotoGP title remained elusive, a haunting footnote in an otherwise brilliant career. But why? Why did Danny's brilliance not translate into a championship? Well, according to experts, there are a few reasons, the main one being Danny's physique. Danny is 5.1 feet tall and only weighs 51 kilograms. Danny's physique is essentially too light to properly warm up the tires in GPs with lower average temperatures. Notice how fast Danny is in GPs with higher temperatures. Danny needs consistent high temperature tracks to lap faster than the others. Critics also point to the injuries, which also played a huge part in depriving Danny Pedrosa of the championship wins. Here are some of other major injuries suffered by Danny along his career. 2008 German Grand Prix. A high speed crash resulted in a fractured left wrist, sprained ligaments, and hematomas. While he managed to finish the race, the injuries required surgery and sidelined him for several weeks. 2010 French Grand Prix. Another crash left Pedrosa with a fractured collarbone, requiring surgery and forcing him to miss two races. 2011 Malaysian Grand Prix. A collision with another rider sent Pedrosa flying, resulting in a fractured collarbone and ribs. This injury kept him out for four races. 2014 Indianapolis Grand Prix. A high side crash caused a fractured right collarbone, requiring surgery and missing two races. 2016 Japanese Grand Prix. A practice crash led to a fractured collarbone, fibula and metatarsal, requiring multiple surgeries and months of recovery. This was his 14th major surgery in his career. Some also point their finger at the Repsol Honda team for their preferential treatment of Danny's teammates, Stoner and then Marquez. Oftentimes refusing to take Danny's suggestions into consideration. The other reason for the lack of championship win is lack of aggression and his unique approach. Danny was a cerebral rider, relying on meticulous planning and control, sometimes lacking the killer instinct required in the dog-eat-dog -dog world of MotoGP. In 2018, Danny Pedrosa made the difficult decision to retire from regular competition. However, his love for the sport hasn't waned. He returned as a wildcard rider in 2021, proving his mettle remains undimmed. Today, Danny serves as a test rider for KTM, his insights contributing to the evolution of the next generation of MotoGP machines. He also mentors young riders passing on the wisdom gleaned from his extraordinary journey. Dani Pedrosa may not have a MotoGP championship to his name, but his legacy transcends mere titles. He is a master of the craft, an inspiration to millions, and a living testament to the unwavering pursuit of excellence. Dani Pedrosa's career is a reminder that greatness can take many forms, and that true grit shines even in the shadow of missed crowns. So, what do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, or if you loved it, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you guys next time, ride safe.